Hello everyone. Hey guys. So today we are heading to Gatlinburg. It is Labor Day weekend. It is Sunday. So we're going to go check out the crowd, see what's going on down there. It's about 81 degrees right now. It's supposed to drop to like middle 70s in a couple hours. So mm -hmm. hopefully we'll have some good weather. Yes. Let's go have some fun in Gatlinburg. Woo! I think the babies might miss us a little bit. We're leaving you for a couple hours. Bye bye. Be good boys. Be good boys. We are Kim and Aaron, and this is Zach and Cody. We are best friends living and traveling full time in our renovated RV, Lucy. We have been on the road since October 2020, so please subscribe to join in on all the fun. RV TV, K and E on V TV, sing it with us. So we are headed to Gatlinburg through the mountains, and we hit some pretty dead stop traffic. Labor Day traffic. Yeah, again, we said it was Sunday. We hit moves, maybe. We're, we're almost to the Sugarlands Visitor Center and then bam. And then just stop. But so, look at the mountains and the trees. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. I can't wait for them to start changing color. Oh, yeah, we were just thinking about making a bet of what day it's going to really start turning orange and fun for fall. Red. So we've been sitting in traffic on a I would say about a half an hour. Yeah, definitely half an hour. Definitely moving slow. I would say this is the longest traffic we've sat in since we've been here in the last five months. So obviously Labor Day is a pop and weekend. Happy Labor Day! Even our RV park, like the energy has been crazy. There's been a lot of people there, which I love. Like that's the fun part about staying in an RV park is like it kind of depends on what's going on. The families are there. The energy is usually always fun. Everybody's having a good time. But it's definitely been popping. So at least we get a beautiful drive. Yeah, that's the best thing. Like when you're sitting in traffic, at least your views are pretty spectacular. I'm hoping for a bear. It's like 74 degrees, so I'm like maybe we'll get a bear sighting today. So we'll see. We might make it to Gatlinburg. We might drive through it. We might turn around. <laughs> we haven't quite decided, but thanks for hanging out, guys. We appreciate all of you, and I think today is a great day to have a great day. Look how beautiful this is. At least you have some beauty in this traffic. According to Erin, I'm the star. She is, right? What do you guys think? She's the star or am I the star? Let's run over. Don't get dead. <laughs> Everyone's having fun here in Gatlinburg. You. Just oh, crossing the street when they're oh, shooting. They're coming. That's, why, <laughs> that's why they got a broken arm. Run! Yeah. Happy Labor Day, guys! Woo! Hear me on YouTube! <laughs> Everybody's having a good time. Look at these crowds, everybody. Woo! Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Let's go see if we can get into some more fun. There's already tons of people walking down the sidewalk. Car traffic is crazy on that side. Yeah, we don't normally see traffic this at the very beginning. Yeah, we're all the way at the end of the strip. So it's definitely it's Labor Day weekend. Crowds are okay over here. Not too bad. Yeah, I thought it was going to be worse, honestly. But it's, it's not horrible. The cars, though, like the traffic is... Yeah, the traffic's big. not too bad coming this way at us, but the other way is like in dead stop. Yeah. We're not gonna Just like it was on the way here for us. Oh, yeah. That was definitely the longest we've sat in traffic for any holiday or anything since we've been here. Yeah. We almost turned around a couple times. <laughs> Pretty bad. So, but we were like, no, we gotta do it. We gotta show you guys what's happening. So we're over in front of the Sky Bridge and they put American flag up there on the bridge. For Labor Day? I'm sure. For America. It's probably really cool to walk by that. I mean, yeah. here it doesn't look huge, but up there it's kind of. Oh, it's definitely cool. big. Yeah. We're over here in front of Mellow Mushroom and Old Smoky. Definitely a decent amount of people. We actually just did Mellow Mushroom review at the island. That video just came out a little while ago. Make sure you really check good. that out. It was really good. Yeah, we got some good pizza there. You want to go to another winery? You want to go to another winery? Why not? So we crossed the street. We're over here by the Hollywood Star Cars. Look at all these cool cars. There's so many cool cars. Oh my god. That, I don't know if they can see it. It's pretty cool. All the crowds. And Crazy Mason is not open. Crazy Mason is not open. I can't believe this. I'm going to go walk over there. See what, see what the... See what this sign says. Due to taking all the precautions necessary, we're currently closed to quarantine our staff to to someone testing positive. Wow. 
because they're closing the whole restaurant. Because it's a small, it is a tiny place, so like if one wow. person got it and everybody could be exposed, they're serving food, it makes sense. It's just crazy because they haven't been open, what, now maybe a month they've been open? I don't even know, right? something like that. It's crazy. Sad. COVID still affecting people, really. Seriously can't believe they're closed on Labor Day weekend. Like even all the tables and everything are not in there like normal. Like I feel like they must they've been closed. I mean we wow. come here. I think the very last time we came they were open, right? We noticed it. Yes. But, but the couple the times last, before that they weren't. Yeah, exactly. And since we came here when they originally first opened, so And it was it slammed is, when we came. Yeah, it's crazy. They're definitely they have to be losing money this Yeah, oh 100 percent So sad. Look at these fun cars. <laughs> Everyone's having a good time here today. I can't wait to be old and retired. <laughs> Just doing whatever the hell I want. Look at the crowds over here in front of the sky lift. There's so many people. And it's so not worth it. Go to Anakista. Anakista's line must be insane. I can't this even imagine so the Anakista line. Anakista oh my god. Has to be out of control. Look, the line goes all the way down the sidewalk. They have all these American flags all along the street. Just like for Memorial Day. Yeah. So many more people over here. We found all the people. Going into the candy kitchen. We're gonna see if they're giving out any taffy. But what's going on in here? Making taffy. Oh yeah. Smells really good in here too. In there's a lot of people. Right. She's like, she's like pulling it in to make like a pattern or something. Ooh. Just making some fun taffy. What does that mean? Now he's rolling out the taffy. So cool. That's pretty Look at all these amazing treats. Oh my god, the fudge, the pretzels, all the peanut clusters. Oh my god. Look at these giant pecan logs. Wow, yummy. All right, that candy kitchen is pretty fun. We've actually had some chocolate covered blueberries from in there before that were absolutely delicious. Oh, yeah. We got crab legs cooking steaks cooking off. They got crab legs cooking, Kim. Crab legs cooking. You buying, Aaron? Sure. Look at all the people on the other side of the street. Holy right moly. We're a, I mean, there's sun over here, but let's see them. <laughs> Aaron, you want to buy some fudge? Somebody gave us a recommendation. This is the best fudge here. You guys want Yeah, you want to get some? Do you want to? I do want to. I think fudge is very decadent. I'm heavy. I'm going to be good and behave. It's but I really want a Fanny Farkle's yeah, corn dog. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I can smell it already. Oh my god, was this the other place? Yeah, they're building something new here. What was it before? I don't know. People navigating through the people. I prefer Gatlinburg with no people. Doing this for y'all. Doing this for y'all. Oh, there's Fanny Farkles. Are you ready for food? You want to split a cheesesteak? They're small. You want to get full though? I don't want to split it with you. Whatever. <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, we made it to Fanny Farkles. Corn dogs on this side over here. Philly cheesesteaks on that side over there. Got my corn dog already. My corn dog, the foot long corn dog is like eight bucks. And Aaron's getting the Philly cheesesteak. Will cost $9.29. You get a smoked sausage for $8.99. I'm gonna get a soda. Yeah. Or a Monster All Beef Half Pound Hot Dog for $9.29. And I always show you this every time we come into Gatlinburg. But Fanny Farkles smells so amazing and this is why. Everybody walks by. I like the way that smells. I already dug into my corn dog, but I'll do it again for you. So good. So good. You wanna see my cheese thing? Yeah. Let me show you. Oh my god, it's like double wrap. It's greasy. Beautiful masterpiece. Are you ready? Here we go. 
go subscribe to our channel before you see this video. <laughs> Oh, Aaron gets Look at that cheese. Look at that greasy mess. And lots of onions. So good. How's your Philly cheesesteak, Aaron? Messy? It's so good. It's so good. Every time we've gotten it, it's so freaking good. The bread is fresh. Like it's so good. We've even, we'd even have recruited people to go inside and eat it. <laughs> Ooh, Fanny Fargo's on. Oh. So good. Now, so we can drink, now we can drink whiskey? Yeah. That's what we did at TC and then Kim's house like, oh, Smokey's right here. You want to go? You want to go? Yeah. Let's do it. He's my girlfriend. We're drinking whiskey. Whiskey. <laughs> we were just at Old Smokey, what, not even a week and a half ago? Two weeks? I don't even know. Yeah. Not that long ago. And a lot of the flavors are all different. So we're excited. I'm going to show you the flavors right now. They have the mint chocolate chip one, which I'm super excited about. They have the amaretto we did, and they have the strawberry lemonade we had never done. And they have the salted caramel and the peanut butter. And the pickles again, Erin. They look like hot and spicy ones. Mm. Edible alcoholism. I like it. Here's, Kim just got pickle I just juice. got the pickle juice. She got the pickle juice. pickles are really good though. Like, it's spicy. I've had a couple different versions in this in the liquor. Yeah. It does have to the skin and the texture of the pickle. It's crisp. I love it. It's really good. Maybe you like sure. it. My mouth is burning though. Is your mouth burning? In the wet best way. In a good way. Apple pie. Apple pie. Sesame fruit. It's gonna have like apple taste in the beginning, some cinnamon, and then just a big old smack of freedom right on the back when you're done with yeah. this. Yeah, this is America in a jar right America. here. America! Cheers to Lady Liberty. Cheers. Happy Labor Day. Woo. I know. I forget it's Labor Day until I go and we walk back outside. I'm like, oh crap, man, it's Labor Day. That was a good after the pickles. Oh wow, it does. It is weird. It's like spicy apples. Spicy apples. That's good. What it tastes like. 60 proof. Peanut butter. Yeah, it's going to taste like screwballs if they know how to make a drink. 60 proof. 60 proof. Oh, yes. So it will do its job. Peanut butter. Love this drink. Yeah, that one's freaking nice. It literally tastes like Reese's Puff Zero with a kick in alcohol form. You can sip on her all day. <laughs> Choose the peanut butter. Strawberry lemonade. I feel like this is strawberry lemonade good for summer. So we're ending our summer here. There we go. That one's very nice. Ooh, you can sip on that. That's not bad. I like that. Shameless insert for the store before we get going here and for this pass. Any of these flavored whiskeys here, these are all $25, okay? Anything edible, $30. Edibles always cost more. Good Mint job. chocolate chip cream liqueur. $35 proof. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. You got excited. Look, look at it. Look, look at Aaron. Look it up. <laughs> We're drinking slime right here, people. I am so excited. Look at the color of it. It's so cool. I love mint. I love chocolate. I love chocolate. This is the last one. Oh, wow. That smells amazing. I'm going to buy it. I already know we're going to buy this. Wow. Holy crap. Delightful or not delightful? Yes. So delightful. Too delightful. Now, that's all we got for you here, guys. Thank you for us. We're buying now with our monies. I think we should get the peanut. Is that man chocolate chip though? Both? Oh, both hurt. No, we're just buying one. We have two coupons. Yeah, but we can combine together on one purchase with yeah, our 10% you know, off coupon. You want the chocolate chip and then you know you want the whiskey. Well, then we we'll have to come back another day and do another tasting, get another $10, and buy another bottle. For Saturday? Sure. They have a pumpkin spice one. Why was this not on the tasting? Because they know that every average white female is going to be biased. They don't even advertise it. Oh my god, I want to taste this. I don't know, but I'm, see, I'm very picky about my pumpkin spice. Oh. I hate it from Starbucks, but I love it from Dunkin' Donuts. So, like, I'm kind of picky. But I know I like the main chocolate chip stuff we just did, and I know we like the peanut butter whiskey. I say, let's go with what we know. So we're in line to pay. We have our 10% off coupon and both our $5 coupons from the $5 we paid to do our tasting. We just had it on one. Peanut butter! Yeah. So good. It's really good. So this is how much the whiskey costs. Normally it's 25, but I got the 10% off. And then our $10 off, so the bottle's only 1367. Which is a deal. So they also gave us this passport that we've never seen before. Yeah, first time we've ever seen this. And if you stop at all three of the old smokies, uh, this one here, they also they have the moonshine tasting here in Gatlinburg. 
and the uh, one at the island. And if you get all three stamped, you get a free t-shirt, which is cool. Which we will do, no problem. Yeah, we got wine glasses for the other tasting we did for the, the wine trail. Apple barn and the wine trail. Wow. So now we'll get a shirt. Woohoo! Excited. Now we just have another excuse to drink mood train. As if you needed one. Exactly, I'm not mad. <laughs> Look at these crowds! It looks crazy. The mountains in the background are beautiful. Did you enjoy your whiskey? I did. It's really uh, good. Because like, I'm not a whiskey first person. Yeah, me neither. Uh, All the flavored ones are good. Yeah. So don't be discouraged yeah, if you don't like whiskey. I like more than I don't like. Because I will never drink like plain straight up whiskey. Oh, but I those flavors. I can't like just sip on some Jack. I mean, I could sip no. on Jack Daniels. No, we don't do that. That was my only option, but. Not my go-to. Erin wants to go in all sauced up. I'm a sauce girl. I love that. She's a little saucy. Do you need to put a dish? They have a lot of fun things in here. Oh, Erin's gonna buy something. Can oh we get, get out of here? I love gadgets. I love kitchen She loves kitchen stuff. I'll take a Charleston chew. Candy and a whole bunch of sauces. Hot barbecue, teriyaki. Roasted garlic peanut sauce. That sounds good, actually. Maybe like rib sauce, sriracha teriyaki. They have tons of different syrups and jellies and salsa, peach salsa, southern chow chow, hot pickles. A lot of different stuff in here. Who are these lazy Susans? <gasps> How fun. I love it. Do you see the little, Come on. little ones too? We're they leaving. Baby We're leaving. But those are only $18. I got her out without buying anything. That was this close though. <laughs> Yippee. They had a pineapple ginger barbecue sauce that was low sugar. It sounded amazing, but it was nine bucks. So. Kim said no. We got priorities. Priorities. The music is bumping in Gallenberg today. It's kind of fun because you hear a lot of the fun music popping and things. It's not too Chocolate monkey coming up on the village. Look at all these people. The village is entirely packed with people. We're not even going in the village. They're making candy over there. Oh my god, look how many people are here. Everyone's watching the taffy being made. And the pancake pantry. Uh, we need to come here. At least they're open later. They're open until three or four on the weekends. And it looks cool in there. I love this giant window. Yeah. All the glass panes. We'll do it. And check out the menu. Oh, see. Look at all these different kind of. Yeah. Look at all these pancakes. I want to try all the pancakes. Sweet potato, Caribbean, Swiss Crepes. chocolate chip, cornmeal. Yummy. Pecan. There's everything you want in a pancake. I'm sure here. Let's do it. Let's see. This is all the people. What time is it? It's Sunday night, day before Labor Day, and it's almost 8 o'clock, 7.45. Just want to remind everybody, Gatlinburg is puppy friendly, so feel free to bring your dogs down here. Perfectly welcome. They want to walk over a bit to Anakista and uh, see how busy it is there. Around in front of Anakista now. I don't really see a long line. The Sky Ridge line was crazy, but Anakista is all the way here at the north end. Whereas the Sky Lift is like right in the middle of all the action. So, here there's, especially during like the busy time, like Memorial Day and stuff, the line here was down the sidewalk. We just walked up. Yeah. So this is still not bad. No. Look at they have all this. They have all this queue that's empty. I mean, there's a ton of people on the list. If you look up there, it's all full of people. Yeah. But still, it's not as bad as we've seen it. So. I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> I'm actually really shocked. Yeah. Yeah, even the line over here is not that bad. Not at all. This is not bad at all. Huh? This was way less of a line than the Sky Bridge, and yeah. this is so much better. So much better. Literally, like, in our, like, honest, like, opinion, if you're gonna pick either or spend the money at the Kisa, you'll get way more bang for your buck. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Mm -hmm. Checking out Labor Day weekend in Gatlinburg. We had a great time. 
I, I mean, it's the traffic here was horrible, but then here it's busy, but it's not the worst we've seen. Yeah. Manageable, you know, we got mm -hmm. some tastings, we didn't have to wait a long time. Mm -hmm. We got our fanny parkles really quick, yeah. which was so freaking good. So good. Like, definitely, if you're like hungry when you're here, you need some quick check out. Like, literally, you'll walk by and you'll know where you are because it smells so freaking good. Yes, it smells so good. <laughs> Even when we're just outside eating there, everybody's walking by, like, oh my god, it smells so good. And I'm like, do it. Yeah. Kim, I'm pretty sure I got like three people to walk in and buy food, so. It's a good place to stop. Yeah. <laughs> so Labor Day here was pretty busy. I definitely will recommend you tell you not to come on a holiday weekend, but if you have to, it's still well worth it. Yeah, manageable. Mm -hmm. Especially compared to Memorial Day weekend. Like yeah. I think this is quite the difference. But... Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, yeah. all of the above. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.